I have always felt a very close connection with God. Um, And though there have been times when I've tried to run ahead of God or times that I have really pulled way back out of anger because of circumstances in my life and I felt as if God had deserted me. Um, uh, I don't know. My faith is just so interconnected with every single part of my body that Mm -hmm. even when I'm misbehaving or not being the person that I know God would like me to be, I, I feel very close with God and always have. I became a minister um, after a very horrible um, accident in Central Park where I broke pretty much every bone in, in one of my legs and was told I wouldn't walk again. And um, I became a minister after that experience, even though it took a while because I was very angry at God because I had to start my life pretty much all over again. Um, But as as far as a conversion experience, I've always wanted to be in a relationship with God. I've always been that eight-year-old girl. I've always been that, yay, whatever you want for me, I'll do it. And then he'll ask me to do something. I'm like, well, I'm not going to do that. (laughs) Everything except that. (laughs) Right. Okay, good. Um, So can you think back about advice you've been given over the years and um, do, is there anything that stands out as like, that was good advice. I'm glad somebody gave that to me. I think the best advice that I have received has been regarding, my personality tends to be all in. Mm -hmm. whether it's in a job or a marriage or taking care of my child or I am all in, I'm a hundred percent and I do it to the very best of my ability. The problem with a person like that is sometimes decision-making is difficult, especially like trying to get a new job because it's always, I'm going to take this and then this is going to happen. This is going to happen. The best advice I personally have been given is, Nothing lasts forever. It's not permanent. You yeah. do not, if you, you, there is nothing that you can't write yourself from. And right. in the sense that, oh yeah, I can take this job. And if it doesn't work out, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> yeah. And um, I think it's a process I'm still learning. But in my experience, that has been the best advice. And I keep remembering that and it actually came from a minister at a a church in new york city when i was thinking about becoming a minister because i was all trying to make this lifetime decision and and i remember remember him sitting across the desk from me his name was rob i can't remember his last name but it was at the marble collegiate church in in new york city and he was actually the minister who suggested i go become a Presbyterian minister due to the educational requirements that he thought then I could decide whatever kind of minister I wanted to be because Presbyterians are usually the most educated and thorough since my personality is a very thorough type personality it would go better. So if you get that uh, thorough package then you could maneuver in lots of directions with it. Absolutely that was his that was his advice to me.